that's another of it because if it could have been Pimco, it could have been Fortress, it could have been Service, but each time the people who won were those who were being guided by Ian and Frank and the impropriety, of course. Well, only, only, one, only, one, only one company won. No, I understand that. But what I'm saying is well, you just agreed that if Pimco or Fortress or any other global company had have bought this debt, that we would have seen the economic activity we see now. Uh, but what I'm saying is that each turn that people actually did win, did win out uh, or were, or were favoured or were brought to see uh, the, the First Minister and so on were companies for whom uh, Frank and Ian were operating. But the impropriety in it, of course, is that whatever everybody Ian and, and his legal issues around the law society and fixer fees and success fees, the impropriety, of course, is that Mr Krishnan was on the NI advisory board to represent us, all of us, and, and in, case, in this case, of course, you're telling us now that actually you knew it was going to benefit his clients if the deal went down. And as well as that, we know that uh, uh, Pimco said he was actually going to get a £5 million fee. So that's, that's I suppose, Richard, and, and I suppose that's where I part company with some other people on this. You know that if you're, Ian, Ian has, and he'll answer his allegations against him, but if you're put on the, the advisory committee, I don't know what's not much funny about somebody getting a £5 million fee and waving the eye of the public and, and uh, benefit I, I, I was while, while I, people, I, are, people are going bust. I was people are in negative I, equity. I, well, let I, me I just finish this. People are in negative, negative equity for £60,000. The home's taken from them by the banks. At the same time, this global vulture company can come in here, buy debt, sell it off to, to your friends, and your friends benefit from it. Uh, and, and, and then the NCA have to come in and investigate it. What, what's, so funny, what's so funny about the public getting ripped off? Well, I, what, I was, what I was finding moderately amusing, I wouldn't say funny, uh, was the fact that I was asked to come here to give evidence, but it seems that most of the things you say are in the form of evidence being offered rather than questions. No, well, I'm, 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 well, just just let them finish here, Mark. Sorry? In those, those sense, like, I, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions that are asked to the best of my ability. I, I don't think it's profitable for me to take issue with each paragraph and subparagraph of your more general commentary, uh, most of which I don't accept. But uh, you know, I, I understand your position on all of this. I've, I've followed your, your commentary with, with interest. I, I accept it as a view. It's, it's not necessarily my view, but you know, it's, it's fair enough that you hold it. But as I say, I, I'm happy to, if there are specific questions at the end of all that, I'm happy to deal with it. Well, well there is, and, and the, the question is, do you accept the impropriety was that Mr Cushnan, your, your, your friend, uh, was on the NI Advisory Committee, supposed to be acting for the benefit of all us. But in fact, uh, as you told us, he knew his, he would benefit if uh, the property were sold to, to one of these uh, uh, vulture funds. And that as well as that, that he was in line to get a fixer fee from Pimco for Daphnet and uh, satellites from Service. You don't see the impropriety in that? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that's much of a shorter question. What's uh, the question? Uh, my view is quite simple, which I expressed at the very start. The deal was good for Northern Ireland. The Northern Ireland economy as a whole benefited from the deal. Uh, my experience with Frank and with Ian on issues that had been before the uh, NAMA issue was that they had always acted in the best interest of Northern Ireland. In this, in my view, they were seeking to act in the best interest of Northern Ireland. The most of the engagement I had with both of them was to ensure that uh, the in interests of the Northern Ireland construction industry was looked after. If as, a, if, as a side product, they would benefit from the general economic activity in Northern Ireland, I think that is a good thing. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I, I don't accept, setting aside some of the other issues that remain, there was any impropriety in any of that. So you don't think there's anything improper in uh, Mr Cushnan representing the, the public wheel, the public good, as it were, as our representative on the NI Advisory Committee, but at the same time being in line to get a fixer fee from PIMCO? Well, I suppose I, I make two points again. <coughs> I think the actions that were taken and the fact that, that the uh, NAMA assets moved to Cerberus was a good thing, that that benefited the Northern Ireland economy as a whole. Thank <laughs> Richard, you don't. So well, I suppose that, that, that call it yourself. I'm, I'm happy for you to, to, to call it anyway. It's either a proper, in your view, or it's not. Well, 